Good oh, boy. I got the family back. <laughs> wow, <manly boy. laughs> I'm Benita, that's Yosh, and this is our daughter Tulula May. We're a family of three that have been sailing around the world for the last five years on board our 40 foot sailboat Nanji. back home in Australia and have been visiting some of our family in Queensland. With heaps more families spread out across this massive country, we're on the move again. Pass the strap around your back, clip it at the front. This time heading to the southern part of Australia, which is also known as South Australia. Let's get the Froth family back together again. We left Queensland, uh, it was so awesome spending so much time up there seeing my family and my mum and just watching my mum be a nana and uh, but it was really hard to leave her but unfortunately we have to keep the ball moving. We are off to pick up our fur child Marley Man today. Oh! waiting for this day for such a long time yeah. and it's finally here um yeah so we're picking him up today like right, right now, now. We're, right we're now right right Miley's gonna be with us right really soon all right so we, we're right out the front we've just pulled up to our friend's place and their fence is kind of see-through and we can see Miley's legs so we're just going to try to sneak up on him and poke our head through not a good guard dog Get you out and see your brother, eh? Yeah. Molly? <gasps> Molly? Molly? Molly! 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 Hello, Molly boy. Hello, sunshine. Sit down, dude. Sit down. Good boy. You still know my voice, don't you? You know me. Good oh, boy. I got the family back. <laughs> Going. Oh man, so good. Little dude, he knew, like, he knew. Yeah. As soon as we spoke, he heard the voice and he was like causing a ruckus trying to get out. It's, it's amazing with dog memory haze how much he remembers. This. Yeah. It's so cool. Oh, my little boy's home. <laughs> We've been staying at our friend's house. They've uh, popped the top on the old Jayco caravan. And that's where we've been sleeping for the last couple of nights. And uh, my mum's driving over from the west coast of South Australia and we're gonna head back over there tomorrow. That's a seven hour drive. Our friends are at work today, but I don't mean to go touching around on other people's backyards or their lawns, but mate, I'm gonna mow his lawn. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, that was an organ, was it, Jess? <laughs> nice one, chef.
sleepy little town. This is the news agency. This is the post office. And this is the pub. And that's the busiest part of town. <laughs> If you're like me and you like long walks on sandy beaches, you'd love Tumby Bay because the actual bay that it's on is 10 kilometers long from one point to the other. So if you did a morning walk there and back again, you've done half a marathon in a pretty spectacular place. The sand on the beach is white and the water when the sun hits it is a gorgeous turquoise blue. So absolutely stunning. The town used to have a lot of blank walls and the people of the community got together and decided to run an arts festival every year and so now we have all of these artists from around the world have come and decorated these walls with this gorgeous street art it gives a lot of new focal points for the town and it's, it's beautiful We've done the seven hour drive over from Adelaide to the west coast of South Australia to here, Air Peninsula. This is where I grew up. This is my mum's place here in Tumby Bay. And today we're gonna have a little bit of family bash. We've got Papa Pete's big rig here, <laughs> chucked on the tinny on the back, and we're gonna go for a bit of a family tinny mish. Come look at the tinny. That's good. What do we got on the back? Ooh, little Quintrex. So a little 370 dark Quintrex with a 15 yammy on the back. How's this? This is actually tinny. Peter's old man, so my step grandpa, he won this in a raffle. Yeah. <laughs> How good's that? Not a bad wit prize. Yeah, so we're gonna take this out. The wind's up a wee bit, but you know, we just hug around the coast here. There's an island and beach and stuff around the corner here we yeah. can go look at. So us sailors don't mind a bit of wind, do no, we? No, we don't mind a bit of wind, us sailors, even the tinny mate. <laughs> Marley's frothing. Welcome back, frother. Welcome back, buddy. Got your jacket on. Our spot we're going to try to catch a few king george whiting we bank it up there's a sandy hole out the back here and we're just going to cast into that and see what we can catch being sailors and international sailors a lot of people always ask us about pirates and it's not the pirates at sea you need to worry about it's the pirates online you need to be careful of so that brings us to the sponsor of this video which is nord vpn vpn is a virtual private network if you're like us and you use a lot of free wi-fi a lot of cafe wi-fi and you don't use a vpn to protect yourself then your data is susceptible to being hacked online using a vpn adds that added protection you can also say if you're traveling in different countries you can access your netflix account from your home country because you know netflix don't show all the same stuff in each country where you are but so by using a vpn you get that added extra security which is important when you are online so we chose nord vpn because it is risk free with a 30 day money back guarantee if you head over to nordvpn.com forward slash froth life and sign up for the two-year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free you can then use your account on up to six different devices so head over to nordvpn there's a link in the description below all right i'm going to chuck out some burly nuts because those kgs are on the chew oh they're like pellets oh, stinky pellets. stuff radio actual stinky okay perfect Marley's got the best seat in the house, of course. Not much has changed there. So what are we using to catch these fish today? So the bait we're using are cockles or pippies. These are actually really expensive these days because you can't eat them and they are a delicacy, but personally, they taste more like booger than something worth eating. So we're gonna put it on the hook and KG's way tastier than any cockle. Give us a look at the cockles. Oh, yeah. Where the dogs are. Where the dogs are at. Yeah, fishy, fishy. Yeah, big dogs. Woohoo! Here he goes. Here comes oh, the fishy. Yeah. yeah. We got one. Wow. Got yeah. it. Woo! First fish. We got one, little bug. We did oh, it. you'd be scared of it. Oh, oh it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, 
nailed it. So good. She's on! <laughs> just, just mind him, just mind him. Just mind him straight. Am I on? He's still on? I think so. Oh, I got a fish! Are you got a fish! Oh my god! Look out, Marley! Out, Marley! Woo! Wow! I got a fish! <laughs> I got a fish! <laughs> wow! Give me some skin, Mama! I got, I got a fish! Wow! I caught a fish! <laughs> wow! Oh. oh, she's on again. Is she? Oh, you've probably lost your bait now because you wind it, wind him up. Oh, no, I think I still. You still got him. Look at you I go! I got him! Look at you go! Yeah. Wow! Ah. <laughs> I got two fish. So how do I grab it? Just grab him. Yep. Oh, oh he's around his head. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, he's going back. Going back. See you, little guy. I know that we've lived on a boat for the last five years, but we I, I can't even remember going fishing out of a tinny or out of a little boat or going for a flick. Like the only way that we really fish is by spear fishing or trawling. And so this is actually a really rare occurrence for me to catch a fish. So I am well pretty done. stoked! You caught a fish! I caught a fish! You caught three! I caught three fish! We got three fish, we got some dinner! <laughs> we got three, we caught six, we threw three back! Yeah, and we caught a lot of like things that we didn't want, so... Oh, some other stuff that's not worth keeping! Yeah, but that's, that's fishing, is it? We've only been out for a little bit, so... Yeah, but uh, it is getting late in the RV, and you know, Tallulah's ready for a run, Marley's ready for a run! Yep! We are heading in, but hey! Marley's had a big day on the boat. When was the last time we sent it and let Marley fang on the beach? Too long. Too go long. Away. Woo! Smell that land, Marley man. Woo yeah, Marley man. Okay. Oh, poor Marley didn't know what to do. He's lost it. <laughs> Maybe he's getting too old. As you get older, you don't want to run fast. <laughs> Words of experience. Can relate. <laughs> Can relate. <laughs> what a beautiful day, but that warm sun on our back is a little bit misleading because it's very dry here and it gets cold very quickly. And today is a very nice day, but uh, you don't get too many of these sorts of days. So when they do come around, you have to make the most of it. So let's just say it's the warmest day of the year. Let's just say it's <laughs> yeah. the warmest day of the year. It's the hottest day since we, we've only been here a couple of days. But the forecast today was 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, and the cool change is meant to come tomorrow. And we're going to have a week of like sub 15s. So uh, you have to make the most of these days when they do roll around. And it is. When the sun's out, gun's out. It looks absolutely beautiful around here. But, ooh, bun's out too. Hey, mama. It is a beautiful place and you do see why people choose to live in such such areas but right now I can't feel my feet and, and I think the tropics are definitely for us. <laughs> so as you can see there is quite a few people along this beach but everyone's on the beach. <laughs> no one's in the water man because it's bloody cold. It's like 13 degrees in the water. Come on dude, in you get. Quick. You ready to send it? Send it, Dad. Send it, Dad. Send it, Dad. Look at you, little ears. What happened? So KGs have lots of scales on their skin. You can eat the skin. These are like a really, I guess they taste like chicken, like but they they're not a very fishy fish. Uh, even eating them with the skin on, like they're not very fishy. <laughs> So we got our three big King George Whitings today and it doesn't get any fresher than this. It's seriously straight from the boat 
and then straight into the kitchen. So this is <coughs> as good as it gets. How good is it? How good is it? Wow, that's how good it is. I've tucked it straight into a bag full of crumbs. I'm just waiting for it to heat up and then we're gonna start cooking. The old lecky fry pan. What's wrong with the lecky? <laughs> do many people cook with these things? Yeah, you do when you're on holidays. It's always like... Oh yeah, they like the free hotel thing or is it just like a 70s gig? No, it's just... I swear that that's just straight out of the 80s. It's convenient. Oi, Nana! So, we, so we're cooking... Broke, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I reckon this is better than Nana's. Oh, <laughs> that's fighting words right there. <laughs> You're not in the room, so I oh. didn't say that. 